Welcome to the Empire Blade, this is Rampain, and welcome back to another install guide video that I wanted to do today, where with the new update for the Elder Scrolls Total War mod, the version 2.0.2, um, the unofficial patch has also had a new install or new update and so I wanted to kind of showcase um, another install guide for this one because this version um, I know a lot of people maybe were having some issues with the um, engine overhaul expan uh, expansion project thingamabob the EOP whatever um, and uh, so what Yaldi did today is, or this version, is he made another one that doesn't require that for the install. And so I thought I'd go over how to get that install working properly for this so that you guys can see some of the new features they have in this version of the mod. So to start off, let's go down into the install instructions. As all the time, I'm just always reading straight from the instructions whenever I'm going through these. This one's eh, kind of more in, in line with what I'm used to doing for normal installs. So first we have to download and install the version 2.0.2 standalone on its own. So I've already uh, downloaded these and use whatever handy dandy extraction tool you guys want to extract the file. Um, so this is the file that I got once I was done with it. What I'll be doing is simply taking this and going over to my mods folder for Medieval 2. I always extract these in their own separate folders so there's not any overlapping with the install and I will simply take this move it into mods and wait until it's done yeah because the main difference between these two different install guides because if you guys want to use the full version um, that he has for this new mod it's kind of basically going to follow a similar process that I did with my other install guide um, but basically because it's listed here this won't have the um, like it won't have the alchemy crafting it won't have the increase in ancillaries oblivion gate travel like the, some of the expanded stuff you can do with them it won't have more religions it's going to get rid of those kind of make it more just a normal medieval 2 mod kind of relieve some of those other things I'm so glad it won't have the increased build points for sieges. I fucking hate that. <laughs> but no, so once we're done with that being transferred over, um, at this point, so now we have basically installed uh, the standalone version of the 2.0.2 mod. Um, I don't have to because of my mod, my campaign is, or, eh. my Medieval 2 is already uh, four gigabyte patched. But if you have not applied the four gigabyte patch before to the Medieval 2 install, because that's actually part of this is right here. It's kind of saying, hey, uh, you want to use the 4 gigabyte patcher that is included in the Elder Scrolls Total War folder. And what you do is you activate, you turn this on, you select your Medieval 2 and Kingdoms. This is basically the same file. If you guys don't know before, you take the Medieval 2, rename it to Kingdoms, place it in the same spot, just make a copy of it, and that is kind of usually fixes some of the older issues with the fact that technically you'll think you need a Kingdoms EXE for mods uh, when they used to be separate games, but if you need a 4 gigabyte patch it, that's simply all you do, select this, hit open, run, there you go. Because um, then at that point, we only need to, now we need to go into, this is the thing that most people might accidentally overlook if they just throw things in and don't really read the instructions is we need to go into the world folders. We need to go into the data and world folders. So I'll just go to the door, data, and then world. We need to delete this. And then we can now properly take the files from the unofficial patch um, and put them in here. So we'll take this, doot, doot. We can just kind of put it back in here so they overwrite. Um, I know right now there is an issue going on with the Elder Scrolls uh, Total War version 2.0.2 where um, it's preventing recruitment, um, mainly cavalry. Uh, technically, that's supposed to be overwritten when you're doing the unofficial patch um, because they have it so that, hey, if you're still having that issue, you technically have to go in and delete this map.rwm. Uh, that should fix the issue for that. Now, while this is kind of going over uh, and slowly being transferred in, because um, this is basically the last step. At this point, the mod will be ready to uh, be launched and played once it is finally finished transferring and overwriting everything. Um, it's going to take a couple minutes, but I wanted to go over some of these other aspects um, that are listed here. Here, Yaldi lists some of the generic or 
expected tips that you might need um, to try and fix crashing and performance. Again, 4GB cat patch is a must. Um, disabling antivirus, um, also making sure you're running in compatibility mode for Medieval 2. Am I technically doing this? I think I am. Yes, I am. Good. I'm a good little modder. <laughs> Although mine's set for compatibility of Windows 8. Technically, Windows 7 is ideal. I don't have issues. I'm going to leave it Windows 8. <laughs> Um, but here we go. We can now actually finally replace everything because they've placed the files um, and we'll let it continue doing that while we continue going over this. That's about it. Those are the, some of the main ones. Um, you can also try and disable your UAC. If you want to crash loading games, uh, try a custom battle first. If you have low FPS, turn off shadows. Just to get a bunch of listed little things if you're having issues. Uh, you can try and reference these and see if they help you at all. Because um, besides that, I know the Elder Scrolls Total War mod themselves, they also have a list of things that might help. Again, they say here as well, for Gregor by Patch, for them specifically, delete events, and uh, I don't think this matters, though, for the unofficial patch. I believe this is overwritten. Um, but again, at this point, we're just waiting for everything to overwrite. Um, but then, once you're done, you'll be able to have all the expanded vampirism and necromancy stuff in the version uh, 2.0.2 for the unofficial patch. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to go over it all, but I'm going to at least kind of try and... Eh, this works right here. I'm going to go right here, come back to you guys once this is done, then we can actually open the game. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while, gets stuck at times, but eventually it will make its way through, because now... What we can do is load the mod, because the Elder Scrolls Total War. And what we'll want to do, because the main difference between uh, the way that we'll launch the mod if you have the full version or you have the without EOP version, is we want to use the Elder Scrolls.bat file, um, which is somewhere in here. Technically, um, I know for myself the way I always launch mods. Technically, I believe, let's check, let's try the Elder Scrolls Total War launcher. I never use this thing. I always use the Elder Scrolls Total War, uh, Medieval 2 mod launcher. Um, that's what I always use, but this is working. Perfect. So you can use that to launch the mod. Um, it's the easiest way to open it up when you have uh, the without EOP version. If you have the with EOP version, that basically it's, it's going to be similar to my other install guide. Um, it's just for using the uh, TSE up launcher although i know for recently at least my windows has been having issues with it where it considers it a a trojan and it thinks it's a virus but it never does anything um but no like here it's now working technically like you can see the stuff if i could actually play as the undead specifically oh no they are here never mind because <laughs> these guys have like expanded stuff but that's about it uh the mod should be working from now uh you'll have all the new features for this version of the mod and if you have any issues in uh, with crashing, leave it down below. If it's something that isn't isn't caught up in the local tips, um, maybe I'll have an idea, or maybe somebody else in the comments will have an idea on how to fix it. That's kind of why I like making these videos. It's a great way to kind of collect together and make sure we can kind of get all that information on how to get the mods working properly. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also, check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways. You can team support my channel in the description so you can check that out. This is Rampane, and I'll see you guys next time.